Hi guys, I'm Enrico, the founder of BYB Telemetry. Welcome to the Bible of Suspension Tuning and Data Acquisition. We will post episodes including comprehensive description and tips on how to get the best out of BYB Telemetry. A variety of topics will be covered, such as the content of the various kits, how to assemble them and how to use the software and app. In this first episode, we'll see what's in the box. First of all, the kits are ready to use, contained in these super organized boxes and they come in two different configurations, MTB and the MAX. Both kits contain the acquisition unit which is characterized by an aluminum body, a waterproof design, five sensors connectors which can acquire 10 channels max, one GPS connector, a micro USB charging port and two easy to use buttons and LEDs. The sampling rate is selectable between 500 and 1000 Hz and it's possible to select which mode we are going to use between MTB and MX. This acquisition unit also includes a free axis accelerometer and gyro, a long lasting rechargeable battery, more than 10 GB of storage and an onboard wireless connection to download the acquired data on a PC or a smartphone. The acquisition unit can be installed to the handlebar using a set of CNC milled mounting brackets. It's possible to fit various handlebar diameters. Then we have a 200mm motorsport grade anodized front sensor for the MTB kit, while the MX kit includes the longer 350mm sensor. They are characterized by a low actuation force, IP65 ceiling, self-alignment joints and a super compact body in order to make their installation as simple as possible. This also applies to the 75mm rear sensor for the MTB kit and to the longer 150mm sensor for the MX kit. They are extremely compact in order to fit all the shocks on the market and the narrowest swing arms too. To add an extra benefit and save more space, from January 2021, these sensors are provided with the exclusive feature of removing the upper uniball too. Removing the first tray, we can see a lot of stuff. In the middle, we can see a couple of brake sensors in this case digital and the speed sensor too. They are designed to be installed on every bike and they work with a set of magnets. On the left we have a full set of mountings made of plastic and CNC milled aluminum. They are pretty universal and designed to fit any kind of frame and suspension. Plus there's also a complete set of screws and various connector caps. In the remaining sector we have the micro USB recharging cable and a set of stickers. In the next episode we will see different tips on how to install a kit on your bikes. Thank you guys and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to receive notification about new episodes. See you next time!